is going on everybody? Tyler Gusso back again for another week of fun, exciting information and awesome workouts. So basically this week I got a question from a woman who has had two C-sections and she would like to tighten up her lower ab area. So basically what I'm going to go through is three exercises that are going to help you tighten up the lower abdominal area. Um, what I'm going to do is explain real quick. The C-section is basically an incision. Um, that's in the lower abdominal area. Uh, they got to cut that open, cut through all that tissue in there to get the precious child out. That's basically my, uh, my little description of that. It's a very detailed process, but essentially that's what it is. And so what you're going to have is trauma in that area right over the lower abdominal muscle. So we need to wake up that muscle, get it working again. Also, you're going to have that scar tissue growing back, kind of growing back in like patchy positions. So you're going to have a little, what they call a pooch. So what we need to do is tighten up, cause some compression, and tone your lower abs as, as well as the surrounding areas. So... Uh, what we need to do is a little bit different than traditional sit-ups and crunches, but uh, those will help you erect the abdominus overall. Also, another issue that you see is uh, diastasis, where basically the abdominal wall opens up due to the girth of the stomach. A lot of these positions that I'm going to go on today, guys, you can change it up because uh, there's a lot of lower back issues with pregnancies as it causes the increased lower doses of the spine here. Kind of going like that. There we go. Yeah, so you're going to see a lot of that with pregnancy. So they try and avoid uh, certain positions, especially in your stomach, obviously, for obvious reasons. I mean, on your back for obvious reasons when you're pregnant. But uh, a, lot, a very good position for these exercises on your hands and knees. So we're going to go through a couple on your hands and knees, and then one while you are on your back. Real quick, I'm going to go over three exercises, one of which is going to be the stomach vacuum. This is key. This is huge. It's very easy. You can do it at any point in time. Uh, number two is the pike. Uh, and number three is going to be heel slides, okay? specifically with abdominal bracing. Uh, we went over a couple of these exercises. A lot of them are going to look like the exercises that we did in an earlier video of talking about the transverse abdominus, um, which is also going to help your posture, but also help out with this tightening and firming of your lower abs. So here we All go. All right, guys. The first exercise we're going to do is heel slides. So basically what I want to do is compress my lower back right there. So there's my, my low back is flat against the ground here. Now what you're going to do is basically slide your heels out keeping that back straight okay and that is not easy so it's gonna be slow motion if you're doing it quickly you're probably not doing it right it's very slow okay keeping your back there you can really feel the lower abs working here transverse abdominus as well if you want to progress that you can go both legs out <sighs> what you don't want to see is that See that my lower back there come up? Keep it right there. So for the next one we're gonna do is called a pike. So you come right here, okay? My hands right here, okay? We're just going up. We're basically hinging our hips upward and we're pulling in our abs. So you're gonna see a little bit of trunk flexion here. Okay, notice I'm not pushing back. I'm not pushing back from my hands, guys. Straight up. I'm pushing a little bit with my calves. I'm drawing in the stomach. All right, guys. The last exercise I'm going to show you is basically the vacuum that I was talking about. This one's fairly simple, uh, but it takes a little bit of uh, you know repetition to get it down. What you're going to do is you're going to blow out. You're going to push all the air out of your stomach. You're going to suck your stomach in, drawing the belly button upward, okay? So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm right here. All the air's out. Blowing. See my stomach's drawing in there? I'm going to hold there for about five seconds. You should be able to talk when you're doing this. Okay, once again. Blowing out. Holding. Three. All right, guys, we just went over three exercises, the pike, 
the uh, heel slides, and we also went over the stomach vacuum. All three of those are going to be great exercises for you to tighten up the lower abdominal area, especially if you've gone through a pregnancy. And we appreciate all you women out there who've gone through such traumatic events in order to bring us life. It's a great thing. It's a wonderful thing. But if men had them, I guarantee you wouldn't have as many babies. One thing I do want to tell you, if you have any pain, can discontinue the exercise. We did a lot of the exercises on our hands, feet, knees. That way you don't have any back pain, but with the heel slides, you might see a little bit more because you are in a more vulnerable position. If you don't have the correct tr transverse abdominus contraction, you may see a little bit of pain. You may see your uh, low back kind of heighten up a little bit there. So if you like the video, please comment, like, subscribe, share, all the above, uh, and go ahead and check out my other Fix Your Posture Part 4 episode that should be coming out this week as well, um, in which you'll get a lot of good information there too. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck in your quest towards lower abs, and I'll see you guys next week.